You'll all be very pleased to know that I've kept Dave, and he's now keeping a watchful eye on proceedings from this corner. Hello, Dave. Anyway, I bought another Nintendo Switch. Don't know why, but I have. And this one is apparently working, but it has a problem with the game card reader, and it has a problem with TV output. So I'm hoping when I open this up that it's going to turn on an actual work, but we'll see, because I did buy it off eBay. And it wasn't cheap, but I figured after the last one, I needed one where I could, you know, probably get it working. I might have a shot at fixing this one. Enough nonsense, let's open this up. Shazam! It's like past the parcel, this. Shazam! Nice. Uh, I don't know what these little stickers are. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. It does look a bit bent. Or is that just me? Has this been rage quit on? Oh dear. Right, the listing says Nintendo Switch, tablet only version 2, fault with game card reader and TV, excellent overall condition, version 2 Nintendo, blah 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 blah. The game card reader no longer reads any games, and the TV output, please bear this in mind as item is being sold for spares parts. TV output does work occasionally. Oh, okay. However, it's intermittent. I feel like I'm missing some letters here. Right, let's try and switch it on. I mean, I don't know whether it's got any charge in it. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, it comes on! Well, well, I wasn't expecting that. Is it meant to make some sound? Or does it only make sound when you slide the things in? Right, well, let's try. Yes! Clickaroo! Clickaroo! And the. Oh! Let's get rid of that. Right, I'll just whiz through this. Right, well, I suppose, considering I did buy this off eBay, I should probably put a game in it and see if it reads games. Because apparently it's not supposed to. Here goes. No, it doesn't read games. Excellent. The game card could not be read. Oh, okay. I wonder if um, it's just got something inside it or... I don't know. I'm going to have to open it up and have a look, I guess. Let's have a look at this USB-C port. First glance, it actually looks okay, but I don't know. Let's plug something into it. Let's try my USB-C finger my bobbity jig. Okay. 5 volts, 0.23 amps, 1.88 amps. That's fast charging, isn't it? That looks normal. Let's try it the other way around. Not point four six. Right, it's definitely not charging the same that way around, is it? Right, so it does look like it is drawing different depending on which way around you have this, but I never used that before, I don't know how accurate that is. Let's try and connect it up to the TV and see what happens. Power. Right, well the screen's gone blank here, but there's nothing being displayed on my monitor here. Let's try it the other way around. And I do believe that's the same. Screen's gone off here. Nothing being displayed there. Let's try it again, because it did say it was intermittent, didn't it? Now it's worked. Uh, so yeah, it's um, it's, now, it's now come on. So that is intermittent. Um, that's got to be the USB-C port, right? Let me try moving it a bit. Yeah, there we go. It's gone off. So, without any more faffing around, let's take this bad boy apart and let's see if we can have a look at that card reader and USB port. Let's remove the tri wings from the back first. And I'm going to take this opportunity to just thank my Holy Hand Grenade patrons, Tidder and Taylor Helton. As always, thank you. It is much appreciated. I've been watching a lot of other YouTube videos and, and Apparently what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to tell people to slap the like button, smash the subscribe button, is that right? And do something with a bell. 
I don't know what you do with the bell. I don't know. Well, I don't think this has been a part before. None of these screws look like they've lost any colour. They don't look like they've been stripped or threaded or whatever it is the word is. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it's very clean. Alright, well, let's start with the game card reader. That is this thing here. Aha. Uh -huh. That's the game card reader out. Um, I mean, it, it looks fine. Oh, is that a little bit of corrosion there? Hmm. I'm not sure. The, the water damage indicator's not gone off. Does look like there might be some kind of corrosion there. Let's get this under the microscope. Right, let's have a look at this bad boy. So we've got some kind of mark there, but I don't know what that is. And then we've got this mark here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look particularly bad. I mean, I'll start with the old, the old favourite of a bit of uh, IPA. Let's just look at the solder connections. I mean, that looks fine, doesn't it? Let's see what it looks like inside. So, I mean, a couple of those pins are not at the same height, are they? Or is that just my imagination? So this one, for example, is higher up than this one. I mean, lower down, you know what I mean? Would be closer to the game card. That one looks a little bit bent as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's possible that they're just not making a good connection. Because they're not dirty, are they? Slide the game in. Can we see it go in? So, yeah. I mean, I think, I think they're still going to be making a good connection. But first things first, let's just try and straighten those pins up a little bit and let's give it a bit of a clean and let's see where we get from there. This is what I'll be using for cleaning with. It's a purple alcohol 99.9% .9 pure. Right, so what is the problem then? I mean, it'd be fairly easy for me to just swap this out, wouldn't it? With the... Because I've got some bits left over from the last one. I could just swap that out and see if that fixes the problem. I mean, I would like to try and fault find this specifically to find out exactly what the problem is. But let's start with that and see if it, it does read with a different card reader altogether. Right, so this is the card reader out of the other switch, so let's try this one. Let's see if we have any more joy with this one. Right, let's try this game. Oh, yes! You beauty! Right, so it is the game card reader that's faulty. 
and the other one does work. So is there anything I can do to fix this one or shall I just leave that one in that's working? It's got a little, I don't know whether that chip is for the game card reader or for the touch screen or I don't know. But that definitely works. I'm going to go back to the original one and have a look under the microscope again and just see if I can see anything maybe that I missed first time around. Right, so the little black dot I've put there just to signify that this is the original one. Mm, is that corrosion here? It's a little bit darker, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Have we also got it down here? What's this? Those vines don't look very clever either, do they? You know what? That it it could be that. Let's get my cleaning apparatus out again. Yeah, these vines don't look too clever at all, do they? Right, let's try the beeping device. So let's put probe in this one. Where does it go? Well, it goes to these test points here. Nope, it's not doing, is it? So from that test point, let's follow it round, 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 round to there. Yeah, it's not, it's not getting there. Let's try the next one, and that one goes to this test point. Nope, it's not getting there either. And then this third one should go to this test point, and it's not getting there either. Right, so those three are definitely not working as they should. I'm guessing this one isn't either. Should go to there. Oh, okay, that one is. Is it worth trying to run jumper wires? Because I've got nothing to lose. I mean, to restore these, do I... I don't really have to run jumper wires, surely. If I let's just scratch some of this away here. Is that... Is that where the break is there? It's definitely a different colour, isn't it? Let's just try it from from there to there. No, it's not it's not getting there. So what's immediately on the other side of that? Got five little holes there and then three above and four and it's the three. If we flip it over, there's the five little holes and there's the three and it, they go straight into the card reader here. So there's not going to be any continuity from here round to the other side. I mean, this is going to be a single layer board, isn't it? So is there anything to stop me from soldering to here, pushing the wire through here and onto the other side? That'd make a nice, neat job, wouldn't it? Well, maybe. Right, I've got some 0.1 millimeter enameled wire. I'm just going to cut some off and I'm going to try one and see if it works. And then I'll know whether it's a good idea to do the rest of them or not. I'm going to try and push it through, through the via. Wish me luck. Threading a needle. Has that gone through? Yes. Nice. <laughs> So from here, we've got the little jumper wire running through this via, and then it comes out here and goes straight into the, the leg there. Right, well I'm really pleased with that one. Let's see if I can do another two just the same. 
So you can see those three there. And then we've got the jumper wire going from the leg through the via on each one. And they're not touching together. And they're nice and solid. And then on the other side, we've got them coming through the via and then soldered onto this track here. And again, solid, solid, and solid. So I just need to double check that they're going from these test points up here, which I tested before, through to this side here. And if they are, hmm, wow, <laughs> I guess. Yep, and from that one to here, yep, from there to there is also good. Right, let's test that. How exciting. All right, so we'll take the battery out, as always, and let's take this one out that was working. And let's pop this one in. All right, let's pop the game in. Here we go. <laughs> yes! You absolute beauty! Come on! Right, well now I know it works, I'm going to take it back out and I'm going to put some solder mask over my bodgy repair. And then I need to look at the USB-C, don't I? Whew! I think that'll do the trick. Let's put the TV light on it for a minute. Right, let's have a look at that. Nice. I'm just going to put a little bit here as well. Pop that back on. Right, I'm just going to leave that here, and then I'm going to I'm just going to take the board out so I can have a look at this USB port while it's drying. I might as well be doing something. Right, I've checked all around. The M92, there's no shorts there, there's no shorts around the BQ, I didn't think there would be because obviously the switch is turning on. I've also checked around here and as far as I can see, everything is normal. So we've got the filters down here, we've got, they're not shorting together and they're passing through, which is what you would expect. And we've got no short, so if we go across this capacitor, there's no short there. And on these four, there's no short. So I think, I think everything's okay, which to me means it's got to be the USB-C port. So I think I am going to take it off and I'm going to put a replacement on.
That looks okay. Yeah, fairly happy with that. Is it going to work, though? That is the question. Right, we're getting there. Before I put some thermal paste on, I'm just going to check to see if that USB port is now working. Let's try it this way around first. Five volts, 0.28. Backlights come on. You can just see it through there. 0.46, drop to zero, 1.42. Excellent. So that should now be on. And there it is. Excellent. Flip it round, try it this way. 0.46, charging lights come on. Drop to zero, switch is turned on. 1.42. Get in. So I think that USB-C port is on nicely. Excellent. I need to stop saying that. I should go back to nice. Right, well, let's finish putting it back together and then we can test it. Hmm. The incorrect amount of thermal paste. <laughs> I don't think that will ever catch on as a slogan. Right, let's try gaming. Yes! Still works. Now for the ultimate test, let's see if it docks. Screen's gone off. Yes! Check it out. It has docked. Let's try it the other way around. Screen's gone off, and look at that, you little beauty. That is a result. Let's play some Mario Kart. Mario Kart Good start, Steve. Ah, oh, blue shell. Oh. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf! No idea why I said Shia LaBeouf.